Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez. Welcome back to Circuit Out, direct from Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. Stick with me as we go through the paces with one of Cirque du Soleil's elite performers and their coach. Today, you'll be sweating it out with Cirque artist Pierre and his coach Artemis. Hi, my name is Artemis Scantilides. I am a performance conditioning specialist at Cirque du Soleil. If you've ever wondered how our artists can do the extraordinary things they do, the answer is easy. They train a lot, and they do it the Cirque way. Today you'll be sweating it out with Cirque artist Pierre Cotet. Pierre performs the Aerial Hoops number in O, one of our most popular and long-running shows here in Vegas. Thanks to his fitness regimen, Pierre performs 10 shows a week, week in and week out. Are you guys ready to work out? Before you start any workout or engage in any physical activity, you want to make sure that you go through proper warm-up and movement prep in order to prepare both your central nervous system and your body for the exercise that you're about to do. The first thing we're going to start with today is just some, some breathing. Most of us in today's fast-paced world, we forget how to breathe properly. We're breathing in our chests like this. So this is all about the belly breath, diaphragmatic breathing. It helps to reset your system. So you want to do about five breaths here, nice and relaxed, to start your workout. I'm just going to have you take it into some head nods. I'm just going to have you first roll your head right to left, keeping your head on the floor. Good, just warming up your neck. And I'm just going to have you lift your head off the ground and then lower it. And as you do this, it's about five breaths and then about 10 head nods right to left and then up and down. So let's have you turn over. This time I'm gonna have you take it head nods up and down and go ahead and bring your head center, Pierre. And then I'm gonna have you just turn your head right to left, nice and easy, just as far as it will turn, don't force it. The breaths should be about three to five belly breaths in this position. Head nods should be about 10 total, up and down, right to left. We're gonna go into some rolling. What I want you to do is look and then roll back and then roll back up. Look and roll, and then come back up to seated. Good, there you go. Let's get two more here. We're gonna do about five of these. Let's get one more. Good, now I'm gonna have you take the egg roll side to side. Head and neck should be relaxed through this whole thing to help to prepare your body for the workout that you're about to do. Let's get one more right to left. And these you wanna do about 10 total, so five to each side. We're gonna go through some Cat cow tilt. What I'm gonna have Pierre do is just inhale, and as he inhales, I'm gonna have him extend his back and look up. Yes, exactly. And then exhale, and I want you to actively push the floor away with your hands, round your back, good. Using your breath to go through warming up your spine. Inhale, and then on the exhale, push the floor away, round your back, good, and relax. It's nice. We're gonna do one more warm up for the thoracic. Place your left arm on the floor, palm faces down, and bring your right arm behind your back. So what I'm gonna have Pierre do is use his breath and inhale and open up his right shoulder and look up to the ceiling, really using that breath to help you to warm up. You wanna do about five to each side. So go ahead and inhale, leave with that shoulder, open up, good. Exhale, relax down, really relax into it. Good, inhale, open up. And exhale, relax down. More here. Great. We've worked on our upper body a little bit, so now we're gonna work on our hips. So I'm gonna have you take it to half kneeling. Just go ahead and place your right leg in front and left leg in back. And I'm gonna have you take it into some hip rocks for it. So just rocking forward, nice and relaxed. Good, for five. So you wanna get about five forward here. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna have Pierre take that front leg and bring it out to the side. And he's gonna keep his chest and hips square, but he's gonna rock to the side. So in this position, you should feel this in your inner thighs, your adductors, and wherever you might be tight, actually, <laughs> but primarily here in your inner thighs. Good, and you'll get about five in this direction here. Then after Pierre gets five, I'm gonna have him use that same leg and stay on that same knee, and he's gonna extend that leg out straight, whole foot on the floor, toe points, forward and then I'm gonna have you hinge over and place your hands on the ground and then you're just gonna take those hip rocks back into your heel and then forward. After he gets five here I'm gonna have him move to the second side and go through those hip rocks forward 
on, on the second side for about five, to the side for about five. So let's have you switch okay. legs. And we'll just demo the other side. So just coming forward and then back and forward and back, opening up those hips. About five each direction. Go ahead and bring that leg to the side. Good. And keeping your hips and chest square. Good. Yep. And now go ahead and extend this leg out into that kickstand stretch. Yep, hands down. And you're going to come forward and back. Great. Today's workout is focused on the aerial hoop. We want to make sure that Pierre's shoulders and his upper body are prepared for the workout we're about to do. So what I'm going to have, do, have Pierre do is grab hold of this dowel here. So as he goes through these arm circles, what he's going to do is take the dowel and he's going to bring, there we go, the dowel up and back while trying to maintain neutral spine here and then up and forward. What you might find is if you have really tight shoulders, what you may find is that you need to have a wider grip on that, dial, on that dowel. And as you go through these circles up and over and up, or up and back, you can move those hands closer and closer together. But just go with the range of motion that feels comfortable to you at first and go through about 10 of these back and forward, back and forward. The next thing I'm gonna have Pierre do with the dowel is I'm gonna have him bring the dowel in front of him. I'm gonna have him bring his hands closer together. And then from here, I'm gonna have him keep his arms straight and circle his shoulders backwards for about 10. Good, just warming up those shoulders, making sure that he has the mobility to go through everything overhead that we're going to do today. And that's good right there. So this, this warm up should prepare you for the workout that we're about to do today. How do you feel, Pierre? I feel great. Awesome, ready to work out? Yes. Excellent. What we're going to do today is a Pilates glute bridge, which helps you to focus on working your glutes, your pelvic floor, and your core, and bringing everything together, that whole trunk from your shoulders to your hips. So from here, Pierre, I'm just gonna have you rest your, your head on the floor, and then I'm gonna have you squeeze your glutes, and I want you to lift your hips up. See how his upper back is on the floor? And then just go ahead and lower your hips. So he's gonna do these glute bridges for about 30 seconds. So you can go ahead and relax, Pierre, and I'm gonna have you transition into a floor hollow. You wanna make sure that you learn the hollow position. The hollow position is key because it helps you to learn how to engage your abdominals for your hangs and your pull-ups. Pierre, go ahead and bring the, the dowel above your head. And you see, he came right away into this hollow position. So Pierre, I'd like you to pull that dowel down like you're pulling a pull-up, right? A pull-up bar, there you go. So for this, you wanna do these floor pull-ups, this floor hollow pull for about 30 seconds. Now you can go ahead and relax, Pierre, great. And then I'm gonna have him move into side planks. Now you'll notice that here in this side plank position, Pierre, his shoulder is lined up with his elbow and he's actively pushing the floor away with his arm and he's activating everything on this side. So he would do that for 30 seconds on each side, three rounds, and relax. How do you feel, Pierre? Feel pretty good. Good, Yes. awesome, nice job. So this <laughs> is part one, and we're gonna move on to part two next. Since the aerial hoop is a dynamic hang, you wanna make sure that you become comfortable with hanging and you build that hanging strength from the bar. So step one would be to get comfortable just with hanging. So Pierre, I'm gonna have you just do a relaxed hang. Now this is something that you can do for about 15 to 30 seconds. This relaxed hang, just starting out. Then you would make it an active hang. So what I'm gonna have Pierre do is pull his shoulders into his sockets, and then I'm gonna have him get into that hollow position. So go ahead and tuck your hips under, and he's gonna hollow his midsection out here. So his shoulders are packed, his lats are engaged, and he's holding this hollow position. So he's holding this with some tension. Go ahead and relax, Pierre. And again, you wanna work start with like 15 seconds, add on five second increments up to 30 seconds. The next thing would be to actually work on pull-ups. So a good way to start is with a band. Minimal equipment here with the band. These are really easy to purchase. Attach this to the bar. He's going to place one foot in the band. Now why I have his, his feet in the band is so that he can maintain his hollow position. So go ahead and get into your hollow position for me, Pierre. And now from here, he's gonna pull up 
into a pull-up. And the band is providing him with a little bit of assistance. You can put the pull-ups aside and we can work on some hanging leg raises. For the hanging leg raises, you want to start them on the floor. You can use a piece of of furniture that you have at home to hold on to, or if you have a training partner and you have a dowel, then you can use the dowel. So from here, he's gonna, just like we did in part one, the hollow position, he's gonna bring the dowel above his head, and then he's gonna bring his legs up straight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of this dowel. I'm gonna apply a little bit of tension and pull back. So go ahead and bring your toes to the dowel. Good, and then come all the way back, and I want you to return to the hollow position Notice how his feet do not touch the ground, they just come back to the hollow position. So this is a way to train floor leg raises before you take them to the bar. Start with three sets of five and then build up to sets of 10. If you don't have a training partner, what you can do is substitute this dowel for a secure piece of furniture at home. Make sure it's secure and it doesn't move around. You can just grab hold of it with your hands behind your head. So moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna work on some pushing strength and trunk stability strength. So step one would be to work on some hand walkouts. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Pierre just go ahead and face this way. And I'm gonna have you hinge over, place your hands down, and then walk it out to a straight arm plank for me. So hinge over, hands, walk it out. You can just give me one shoulder tap right, one shoulder tap left, and then go ahead and walk it back, bend softening your knees. Yes, coming back up to standing. Good. So for this you want to start with five and work up to sets of 10, again, three sets. Now, if that's super easy, the next progression would be to take it to some wall-assisted handstands. You can kick up to a wall at home. So Pierre, I'm gonna have you kick up to that wall-assisted, and these should be wall-assisted single arm shifts. So always using that wall for support, remember, safety first. So here we are, wall-assisted, he's leaning his legs against, against the wall here, and he's just shifting his weight side to side, practicing how to balance on one arm with that wall assistance. Again, start with 10 seconds, three rounds, five second increments up to 30 seconds per set. Now we're going into part three of today's workout. Part three, we're gonna work through some kettlebell carries. What he's going to do is he's gonna grab it with both hands and he's gonna bring it into what's called the rack position. From here, Pierre's just gonna two hand press that kettlebell overhead. So go ahead and get those knuckles to the ceiling. Go ahead and pack your shoulder as much as you can having your arm overhead. Now from here, what I'm gonna have Pierre do is just take it for a walk. So he's just gonna take, stabilize that kettlebell overhead and go for a walk. He's going to do 30 seconds on the right side and then he's gonna switch and do 30 seconds on the left side. And he's going to do this for five rounds. Great, how do you feel? Good. You yeah. glad this workout is over? <laughs> that was quite a workout. We hope you try it again and that it helps you to be the best that you can be. Remember, you don't have to be a part of Cirque for this workout to benefit you. Stick with it and you won't be sorry. Don't forget to get active with Cirque du Soleil on our next episode. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Have a look over here to see what video you want to work out to next. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the great content we publish week after week. We at Cirque du Soleil are here to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way, where everyone, every day, is extraordinary.